one of the most important roles of the BD2K Links Data Coordination Center is to develop metadata standards for the Lynx Consortium and beyond. In biological sciences, historically, data is published as part of research papers, and until recently there were no standards about naming conventions to represent entities such as cells, genes, or assays. There were also no standard for data representation. So what is metadata? Metadata is data about the data, and we'll go into more details next. In Lynx, we are faced with different types of data, generated by different types of assays, under different experimental conditions applied to different cellular contexts. Typically, the data that is produced by such experiments follow the following structure. It is in a table where the rows are the measured variables, Many times these are surrogate for genes or proteins. The columns represent the conditions, the cells that were used in the experiments, the perturbation, the time point when the measurements were taken, as well as the concentration if we are dealing with drugs. Inside the table, the data are numbers, and they can be ones or zeros. They can be real positive numbers, uh, and they can be integers or real numbers and can have positive or negative values. So the data is the numbers inside the table and the metadata are the descriptors of the rows and the columns. So what is an ontology? Often it is favorable to organize metadata into ontologies. Ontologies have multiple advantages over other types of metadata organization. Ontologies provide formal names to real-world objects in a specific domain. Ontologies also provide descriptive properties of those objects and their relationships. Ontologies are similar to taxonomies, which is the science of classification. Both ontologies and taxonomies have hierarchical structure, where the objects are arranged based on their similarity and have a parent-child relationship. The most popular and successful and one of the first ontologies is the gene ontology. It is a consortium that is responsible for assigning functions to genes. Amigo is a web-based tool that can be used to browse the gene ontology database. It can also be used to understand the tree structure of the ontology. The gene functions represent functional terms that are properties of the genes. They are organized based on their granularity, from general to specific. Genes are assigned to terms at different levels of the tree. There are, in fact, three gene ontology trees, biological process, cellular component, and molecular function. The success of the gene ontology project led to the development of many other ontologies for organizing biological and biomedical data. There are ontologies for cell types, assays, drugs, cellular phenotypes, diseases, and mouse phenotypes. There are, in fact, over 400 bio-ontologies listed on the BioPortal website. When collecting data in biology and biomedicine, the goal is to annotate the data with these ontologies so everyone knows that we are describing the same entities and the relationship between entities are clear. Another very successful bio-ontology that is relevant to this course is the mammalian phenotype ontologies developed at the Jackson Labs. This ontology is used to describe what happens to transgenic mice, or in other words, how gene manipulation in mice cause an alternative phenotype, for example, a change in behavior of the mice, growth size, or a disease man manifestation that happens due to uh, loss of function or mutation in a gene. Stefan Schurer, who is one of the PIs of the BD2K Lynx DCIC, is an expert in ontologies and metadata. In one of his laboratory projects, he is developing a drug target ontology.